Hello my dear friends and welcome to Study IQ. I am Joy C. Joy and today in this lecture we will discuss about the Katua rape case verdict. Now if we analyze the current affair, 6 out of 7 men who were accused in the 2018 rape case of an 8 year old girl in Katua, Jammu and Kashmir, they were convicted by a special court in Patan Court, Punjab. So based on this current affair, in this lecture we will discuss about the case, what was the rape case all about and we will also see how did communal politics evolved out of this case and we will also understand what is the recent verdict of the special court and we will also understand what is the significance of the judgment. So if we talk about your UPSC perspective of this topic, this is an important topic for your UPSC mains examination. So this topic will come under your GS paper 1 as well as your GS paper 2. In your GS paper 1 this will come under social justice and in your paper 2 this will come under judiciary, judicial system, law and order in the country etc. So from both GS paper 1 and GS paper 2 perspective this is a very important topic for your mains examination. So let us start the lecture but before that this is our channel study IQ and we are providing pen drive courses for various competitive examinations including SSC and bank courses, UPSC optionals, SSC JE courses, teaching examination, railway examination, defense examination, RBI grade B, NABARD grade A, UGC net, UPSC civil service examination, CLAT exams for various state PSCs and also for various professional courses. You can visit our website www.studyiq.com for more details or you can call to any of these numbers for more information. So let us start, let us first analyze what is the current affair. So this current affair is related to the rape and murder of an 8 year old girl in Katua in the state of Jammu and Kashmir in the year 2018. So 7 men were accused for this case and out of the 7 men, 6 are now convicted by a special court in Punjab. So this is the current affair and based on this we will be analyzing what was the case all about and most importantly how did communal politics evolve out of this case and why this case was transferred to a special court in Punjab. And what is the significance of the present judgment? So we will discuss all this. First, let us go to the case. Let us briefly understand what is the case all about. So this case, as I discussed in the beginning, this involves the rape and murder of an 8-year-old girl from Katua in Jammu and Kashmir. Now, how did this case become an issue of communal politics? This is because the girl who was the victim of this is a Muslim girl so she belongs to Muslim community and uh, the accused the seven accused they belong to Hindu community so this became a communal issue or a communal political issue because the deceased and the accused were from two different communities and these communities they were rivals and in order to support this Hindu accused men Hindu Ekta Manch was also formed. This is a group that provided support to those who were arrested and those who were Hindus. And along with this group, the two ministers in the then Jammu and Kashmir government who were from the Bharatiya Janta Party and the members of the BJP in Jammu and Kashmir also supported the accused seven men so this added to the communal politics so this became actually a clash between hindu muslims because the deceased was from muslim community and the accused were from the hindu community so it became a communal political issue or a communal issue rather than a social issue and in this backdrop that is after this case became a communal issue the case was transferred to a special court in Punjab for conducting fair trial. So this case was transferred from Jammu and Kashmir to Punjab special court in order to ensure that the trial is conducted in a fair manner without any political influence. And this was according to the Supreme Court order. The apex court, the Supreme Court of India had taken note of the hindrances to a fair trial in 
Jammu and Kashmir court because of the political influence or any kind of influence that the political parties or the communal leaders can bring in into this case. So apex court had intervened in this case and transferred the case from Jammu and Kashmir court to the special court in Punjab in order to create a hostile atmosphere and to conduct the case in a free and fair manner. So this is the background of the case in brief. Now coming to the recent verdict of the special court in Punjab. So as we discussed in the beginning, six men out of the seven accused were convicted by the special court in Punjab. And out of the six men, three men got life term imprisonment while the other three got five years of imprisonment. And the three men who got life term imprisonment includes the mastermind of this crime, Sanjee Ram. He is a retired government official. And second person, Deepak Kajuria. He is a special police officer. And Ram's nephew, Parvesh Kumar. So these three are the three men who got a life term imprisonment. And three police officers, they were awarded five years in prison for destroying the evidence. So this is the case against the police officers. And this three men, three police officers include the special police officer Surendra Verma, the head constable Tilak Raj and sub-inspector Anandatta. So three of them, they were awarded five years in prison for destroying evidence against the case. Now the seventh accused. So we have seen that out of seven accused, six were convicted. Now the seventh accused is given a benefit of doubt. So what is meant by a benefit of doubt? The Indian judicial system believes that even though a hundred criminals are escaped, not even one single criminal should be punished. So this is the principle at which the Indian judicial system works on. So benefit of doubt means that if a person, an accused person is able to create a doubt before the judiciary, whether this crime has been conducted with the involvement of the person or not. So this is just a question of doubt. If the judiciary comes up with a doubt of a person who is accused, the person will be granted the benefit of doubt and will not be convicted. So the seventh accused has been awarded the benefit of doubt. He is set free. And regarding this case, the crime branch had filed charge sheet against eight persons. Now we have discussed about the seven persons. And the eighth person is a juvenile. Juvenile means below the age of 18 years. So the trial against the juvenile is yet to begin. It has not yet started. So this is briefly regarding the recent verdict. So now we will move on to the most important part of this lecture. The significance of the judgment. How this judgment becomes significant. And this is the most important part for your examination perspective. So you need to understand what is the background of the case. What has happened. What is the current affair. You need to have an idea regarding that. But the most important one is regarding the significance. Especially because this is an involvement of judiciary. Now a judiciary has given the verdict. So judiciary is a very important topic. Independence of judiciary is very important in case of Indian democracy. So if a question is asked on the independence of Indian judiciary, you can quote this example. You can quote certain verdicts where the independence of judiciary, how free and fair is Indian judiciary. All this you can quote with the example of certain verdicts and this will fetch you extra marks. Otherwise, what you do is you will write the theory part that everyone will write. But what will fetch you more marks is when you give examples in the form of recent verdicts of Supreme Court and or any other court. So this is one way by which you can fetch extra marks in your mains paper. Now how the how does this verdict become significant? This is a triumph of justice over communal propaganda. So we have discussed in the beginning how did this crime or the rape case became a communal issue? How did different communal com communities came into this case? So initially there was a supreme court intervention in this case. So the apex court itself intervened in this case and the case was transferred from Jammu and Kashmir court to Punjab special court. So this was one way by which the communal influence on the conduct of uh, investigation and trial of this case was protected. So the transfer of the case from Jammu and Kashmir to Punjab helped in 
bringing transparency and avoiding any kind of political intervention in this case now secondly the investigation also quickened and the charge sheet was prepared in a time period of 2 months so this brought in a lot of efficiency in investigation and the trial lasted for almost 1 year and the verdict has been delivered after almost 17 months of the occurrence so we can say that comparatively or relatively the case was speedened and justice was duly delivered so this case has helped and especially the verdict has helped in protecting and upholding the independence of indian judiciary from any kind of political intervention or communal interest so we can say that the larger take away of this case is that an efficient investigation and intelligent prosecution and judicial sensitivity can ensure speedy justice in all cases so this ha- case has set an example for all other cases if there is an efficient investigation that is a transparent investigation and prosecution being very fair and also the judicial sensitivity three things together can ensure speedy justice in any cases so this is the key take away from this case and regarding the independence and uh, integrity of the indian judiciary this is a landmark judgment you can find the pdf of this lecture on my facebook page you can follow my facebook page for more video updates you can also write to me at joyshi.studyiq@gmail.com for any of your queries and clarifications thank you